you would be on the screen. And there's a black line in the middle where the stable isotopes are. They're ionized enough that they'll start to get accelerated. We're going to storyboard the whole thing. These are the ones we know for hydrogen. And as you get bigger and bigger nuclei, then they can have a bigger range of uh, neutron numbers. Uh, what? Maybe the details sometimes are complicated, but the ideas aren't. Okay, so to most of us, the language of rare isotope research is a mystery. Make new isotopes for researchers. But with a new $550 million facility coming to the campus of Michigan State University, maybe we need to understand the process. Maybe in a way we can understand. Isotopes we don't usually find. So the project hired a physics rapper. Yeah, we've never heard of one either. My main MC, Alpine Cat. With the serendipitous B.O.B. MSU graduate, Catherine McAlpine. Yeah, call me Kate. Okay, Kate is our rapper, who is able to explain this scientific process. But why a rap? Why not a rap? Oh, that, that was a blast. <laughs> We're producing a rap video for the F-Rib. I like it as a way of communicating because rhymes tend to stick in people's heads. Yeah, but we still can't say exactly why some are stable while well, others decay. To communicate what we do to as broad an audience as possible. It's just been a really cool experience so far. I think rap is a very good way to do that. And it's something that is just fun to watch, but the message is also great. It really describes what it is we're doing. <laughs> This isn't the first time Kate has explained complicated physics with a rap. I'm about to drop some particle physics in the club. Her last physics rap video was a huge internet hit. And she has done a few other rap videos before. She uh, had earlier done a rap for the LHC, which is the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland. Her video about that gigantic research facility you see in the movie Angels and Demons has gotten over 5 million hits on YouTube. It's also been featured on MSNBC and Fox News. Not bad for a rap about particles, ions, and antimatter. Today, Kate is shooting her next physics rap video. Today, we were filming some green screen. Josh, ready? Adam, ready? It is for the Ephrib rap. They've lost protons and neutrons, or maybe gained a few. So what is this one about? It is about the facility for rare isotope beams, which MSU has just been awarded by the Department of Energy. They're going to upgrade their nuclear physics facility. OK, oh, that's a one key, right? A fantastic job with the lyrics describing what we do. I mean, much better than any of us could have done it. And she did it in rap. You strip off their electrons for a charged state. They zip through electric fields made to accelerate. A couple minute rap and with great imagery and maybe not so great dancing. The teams here check out their dynamics measure. It really says what the, our project is about. And if it's got lots of protons, it takes an inside curve, but more neutrons tend to drag it for an outside swerve. We pique some interest, and then they want to learn more, find out what this EFRIB thing is. So when they go this way, you zoom out for the entire frame. To produce this rap video, Kate teamed up with graphics and video teams from the College of Communication Arts and Sciences to help with the project. And this is my first full-fledged rap video. Amal is directing this project. I would say about four takes. This is really unique because, again, we have the medium of rap being used to, to basically educate people. Both of you guys are, are, are physicists, so you know about, all about momentum and velocity, so. Protons and neutrons can switch from one to the other. There is a lot of student involvement in this production. Everything from storyboarding and graphic elements and lighting to shooting and editing the final video. So it's possible to be entertaining and educational at the same time. Sure. Making this rap video is fun, but it's also to bring attention to some of the great research that will be done here in this new facility. Although the rap is entertaining, it's also closely linked to what we're actually going to be doing. And the words describe very well the type of research and the goals of the research that EFRIB will do. So what does science get out of a rap video? Well, what we hope to gain is interest in the project uh, and also just to express this great thing that we're doing in science to as many people as want to listen to it. It's always good to get the message out. There's fantastic, exciting things happening in science, and maybe people are more likely to watch a rap than they are to pick up a, a, you know, a journal or something and read about it. The rap is a way to create excitement about some of the great work that will be produced right here in years to come. Putting the subject with the rap was more of a humor factor, but it's just fun. Yeah,